We're coming up now on the women's 100-meter event. And, of course, all the talk prior to this event has been whether Jamaica's Merlene Audi with the fastest time this year was going to be here or not. And she was in and she was out and now she's out. And that has thrown Craig Mass back the spotlight on Evelyn Ashford and a couple of her American teammates. It's always great to see Evelyn Ashford in the spotlight. You know, Jesse Owens said that pound for pound, Evelyn was and is the world's fastest human. She's a thin piece of muscle is the way he described her. And Evelyn says she's going to keep running until she's 50 years old and wants to win a gold medal in 1992. So the women's 100 meter about to come up here. Evelyn Ashford is, as we say, the one we'll be looking at. But there are some other very competitive entrants in it. And let's get the lane assignments. In lane one, number six, a 1984 Olympic 100 meter finalist, a member of Canada's 4x100 meter silver medal relay team, Angela Bailey. In lane two, in 1989 and 1990, Soviet national champion, Irina Sergeyeva. Soviet Union's bronze medal relay team at the Seoul Olympics, Galina Malchugina. In lane four, two-time former world record holder, five-time USA national champion, the 1988 Olympic 100-meter silver medalist, and 1984 gold medalist, Evelyn Ashford. In lane five, the 1989 Olympic Festival champion and World Cup winner, member of the 1988 Olympic gold medal relay team, Sheila Eccles. In lane six, the NCAA indoor 55 meter and 200 meter champion from the University of Texas, runner up in our national outdoor 100 meter championship, Carlette Guidry. In lane seven, number 150, our USA national indoor and outdoor sprint champion, Michelle Finn. And in lane eight, number 19, the Pan American Junior 100 and 200 meter champion, World Junior Championships 100 and 200 meter bronze medalist from Cuba, Liliana Allen. So we've met the competitors now in the women's 100 meter. Let's look at the world and American records as we put this event in perspective. World and American record held by Florence Griffith Joyner at 10:49, and uh, this year the best time run, Merlene Audi, once again from 10:78. There is Evelyn Ashford. And Craig, we talked earlier about the competitors will be will be certainly challenging here. Carlette Guidry, Michelle Finn. Yeah, but they still pay a lot of deference to this woman. She's been the great sprinter throughout their entire lives, at least because they're so young, they, they haven't known anything else other than Evelyn Ashford and, of course, the brief moment of Flojo. But I think her anchor leg at the Seoul Olympics was, for me, the highlight of the Seoul Olympics. She came from behind to win the gold medal for the U.S., the oldest woman to ever win a gold medal in a sprint track event. Evelyn is 33 years old. To put that in perspective, Carlette Guidry's 21, and Michelle Finn is 25. 
Hamilton Ashford in lane four, Carlette Guidry in six, and Michelle Finn in lane seven. Finn, the American champion, and Carlette Guidry was hurt earlier in the season. She's getting better and better every week. She could pull the upset. A good start. You see the world record time, 10-4-9. Michelle Finn, Eccles. It's going to be close. It's between Sheila Eccles and Carlette Guidry. Really grouped tightly together. 11.04 unofficially, and my pick is Carlette Guidry. It really looked like she timed her lean the best. If that time stands up, it would be a personal record for her, and what a great time for it. She's the woman who says the 200 meters is her special event, her favorite event, but with that kind of 100 meter speed, I think we're going to see her in this event for a long time to come. And interestingly, Sheila Eccles was a late replacement for Merlene Adi of Jamaica, who chose not to be here. There in the middle of the field, Eccles really has the advantage at this point. See her in the middle. But just as they come up to the finish line, what a great lean there at the tape by Carlette Guidry. It's the torso that counts, not the foot, not any other part of the body. She was clearly there first. Carlette Guidry, 21 years old. We were talking about the young and the old. And once again, as in athletics over and over again, the young bumps the old out of the spotlight. So Evelyn Ashford does not finish in the top three. Carlette Guidry is the winner from Austin, Texas, 5'7", 146 pounds. Well, you know, they have a new coach down there, Jane Frederick, the great heptathlete from the United States. She said, Frederick has helped me believe in myself. That's why I'm getting better and better. So Guidry wins the women's 100 meter. We'll be back to the Goodwill Games after this. Near photo finish is first, Sheila Eccles second, and Michelle Finn finished third. An exciting race. The Soviets, by the way, Craig, got out to a very good start. They were very quick out of the blocks, but good starts are not what necessarily lead to good finishes in track and field. It's getting into a good running position. And these three women out ahead in the red, white, and blue, what a great relay team they're going to be part of as we come towards that later this week. Evelyn Ashford on the right, and there you see Carlette Guidry with the great lean. Carlette, so effective indoors in her college career at Texas. She was always hurt, always had problems outdoors. Now she's truly got things together. As that's part celebration and part lack of control after she leaned for that tape. There are the three women running stride for stride. It takes great patience for Carlette Guidry in the middle of that group to maintain her composure and time her lean right at the finish line. That's what she did better than the other two, and that's what won this race for her. At the bottom of your picture is Michelle Finn, who finished third. Guidry the winner. Sheila Eccles was second place. There's the reaction. Tremendous camaraderie among these women sprinters. Evelyn Ashford will be the anchor leg on that relay. These women have said, we want to go for records in the relay. We're going to take very exciting and controversial handoff times. And we have the official time of 11.3, which is a personal best for Carlette Guidry. Well, Dave Sims is ready to talk to Carlette. And Dave, you might pass this information along. The time, 11.03 for Carlette Guidry. All right, Carlette, we're told the time, 11.03. Your thoughts on that? I'm pleased. It's another PR for me for this season. Tell us about that last few strides, the lean. It's, it, it certainly worked for you. Yes, yeah, this my coach told me to run, run on past the line. That's all I did, and tried to lean. Middle portion of the race, what were you thinking at that point? Oh, just build. Just keep keep my speed building. It was a, a three of you coming down together. Did you have any doubts in your mind that you had won? Well, no, not until I saw the tape. How's it, tell us about the rivalry that you've had with these other two women. I mean, they, uh, it was an exciting finish, certainly, and you've been going back and forth a lot during the course of the season. Well, there's no rivalry. We're just competitors and, like, love the track and field. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Hi, Mom. How you doing? All right, now let's get back to Larry Kay. Thanks, Dave. Are you still there with uh, Carlette? Yes, indeed. Hold on, okay. Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte. Would you ask her if there's a big difference running outdoors than indoors? Okay, Larry King wants to know, is there a big difference for you running indoors as opposed to outdoors? Yeah, I think it is. I have a better start indoors. I can, but I'm able to maintain longer indoors. Why? Why? Oh, I guess because of the strength I have, I'm able to build up my speed quicker. 